Disclaimer. Please pay attention. By continuing to watch this video you agree that all creators associated with this channel are not responsible if you get banned kicked warned. Hello guys, welcome back to another video and today we'll be I'll be showing you guys how to download and use kernel So kernel does have a new update that has a new interface and it provides with all the necessary functions to run scripts But if you don't of course if you don't want that they still have the old version But for this video I'll be showing you guys how to download the latest version which has a new UI and the you know the simple function functions etc so we're gonna go ahead and start it off by going over to our setting and turning off our antivirus. So I'll show you guys how to do that. So go over to Windows and Security, I mean update and security, and then go to Windows Security. And then you're gonna you're gonna go to virus and threat protection. And then once you're there, you should see all of this. So if you are using Windows Defender you will see all of this. But of course if you're using a third party app, it should give you an option to open that open that app and then turn off it turn off all the uh, stuff from there. Um, so all you, so it should be called either vi virus protection or real-time protection computer protection Or it should be called file protection. I don't know. But uh, for example McAfee Avast all of that uh, You should know what it is if you do not know how to turn it off go on YouTube and search up your execute your uh, Antivirus name and should help you out over there on YouTube All right So what you're gonna go ahead and do is go to manage setting if you are used using Windows Defender and turn off real-time protection And then after that close out of that So once you have your antivirus disabled go over to the website link is in the description and then go ahead and download over here Download latest version now. It's gonna say kernel beta is uh, kernel beta exe is dangerous So Chrome has blocked it. So it is not actually dangerous. It is false flagging So we're gonna go over to our downloads and click and key and click keep dangerous file even though it's not actually dangerous we're gonna click on show and folder now for this to actually work you do need to use a VPN so if you don't have a VPN on and you just open it it's gonna sh it's gonna look like this which is on screen now um, but when you do have it on it should work so we're gonna go ahead and do that now I do have my VPN on so it will work for me if you do need a VPN link is in the description it's free you just need to make an account and it will be free to use and there you go it's gonna be instant boom so uh, sadly they don't have actually they don't actually have a folder no more so all you need to do is just drag this to your desktop boom all right so as you can see here the UI is very very clean so you got the recent so like I said well like you just saw when I close out of this it's gonna show over here so I can just open it right here so look let me type something I said oh shoot I accidentally hold on uh yes so say oh shoot I accidentally deleted it open that up and it'll be right here you got the script so this is where basically all your scripts will be so you click a plus open it there type that in close and then boom over here scripts oh there it is oh wait hold on all right well it should show up uh it looks like I did not save it or something but yeah, you got the community tab. This has command X, affinity yield, and Solaris script hub. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open up a tab and go over here with the first option. So you got the preference, pre preference, you know what it says, I can say it. But you got the auto attach, you got the auto launch, always on top, and unlock FPS. So the auto attach, I definitely, definitely high, highly suggest you guys to turn that on as that will uh, try avoid most anti cheats. So please turn this on for, you know, so for for your safety and so that you do not get banned. So this will not, by the way, this will not actually fully, you know, go past it, but it does for some anti cheat. You got the auto uh, launch, this will automatically launch it. I'm guessing every time you relaunch your PC, you got the always on top. When you turn that on, it will always. Oh, shoot, no, that's my VPN. All right. Oh, I hope I blurred that. And the oh, editor, blur that. Please blur that. All right. Um. Anyways. Um. We got the. You know the always on top so this will basically always stay on top so I can click around through different applications and it will always be on top so you got the edit you got uh, I'm sorry you got the file you got open save save as open kernel folder so this will open the kernel folder but it's not needed but if you really want to click over here and you can drag and drop this over there but like I said it's not needed close out of that all right so now we're gonna go over to the edit you got undo copy paste cut a delete and select all you got the view you got code mini map for edit for those uh, editors back there I mean the coders and you got close Roblox so as you can see it's a clean 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 executor 
I definitely love the new UI that they added. It's definitely cleaner. But like I said, of course, if you want the old one, uh, you can go ahead and still download that and enjoy while you can because it will go away soon. So we're going to go ahead and click on this. Uh, we're going to be testing this executor out in Arsenal today. And I'll be getting the script from Mr. Scripter, you know, the best guy in the world. So anytime you need a script, get it from over here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to comment and say something nice. Why can't I comment? Why can't I say nothing? Why is it not working? Okay, well, I'm not going to go through all that. So I'm just going to go ahead and go down in the description, get that link, and then go ahead and script. Why is nothing loading? Is my VPN really not having a good time today? Oh my god. All right, there you go. Phantom Forces. Oops. Nope. All right, we are back. So I got the script over here. If you do want this script, it is going to be linked in the description if you like to get it. So as you can see, it said injected, waiting for version. So while that is doing its thing, I'm going to go ahead and paste in the script, go over to the game, wait for that to load up. It's going to say scanning. So you're going to copy copy this link to get the key uh, so you can go back and see how it looks like you're gonna copy that link paste it in your browser and then the key should pop up go back to it paste it in click enter and then you'll be able to use the executor these keys do last for 24 hours so enjoy it while it lasts so we're gonna go ahead uh, it's already injected as you can see because I had I had auto injection on auto injection on so we're gonna go ahead and execute the script and I'm using our hub like I said link is in the description Let's wait for that. It's going to freeze your game. Oh, wow. Internet connection. Ain't that great. This VPN is not good. I think I'm about to turn it off in a second. All right. So we are back. I'm going to go ahead and go over here and execute the script. So we're going to go ahead and click on that and boom. So I already have everything on, you know, so for scripts that do save, it is going to save over the executor. So kernel does support a whole bunch of different uh, scripts and it's actually, I think the best free executor out there currently. So we're going to go ahead and test everything out. So as you can see, boom, aimbot looks like it's working. Okay, well, I guess not. I, I guess the script doesn't work for the pumpkins. But here, we're going to check that out for these, for this gun right over here. So boom. Oh, no. Okay, boom. So there you go. All right. So as you can see, the wall bang doesn't work for this script. Oh, no, it does. Oh, yeah, it does. No, it does not. All right. Well, ain't that great. All right. Uh, let me get this guy from behind here. Okay, what the heck? I think I'm just so bad at the game. All right, here. Let me turn up the volume as well. All right. God, why is it? Okay. All right, yeah. Thank you for killing me. All right, I'm trying to show off this stupid script. Well, technically the executor, but yeah. All right, so boom. Why can't I shoot? Okay, yeah, that's my VPN. But as you can see, this executor does work. I'm sorry for the stupid, uh, uh, you know, the unwanted attention because of this stupid VPN. Oh, wow, and I just showed it. Man, man, oh, man, oh, man. So... <clears throat> This script overall is very, very good. Um, I mean, the executor, it's overall very, very good, very safe. And yeah, I definitely do suggest it as kernel is, I think the first, not the first, but the number one best free executor out there currently that is, uh, you know, that does have a key. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys subscribe, hit the like button, turn on notifications, and thank you guys so much for 1K subscribers. Um, I really, really do appreciate it. I will be doing a giveaway soon. And if you wanna, if you wanna choose, you know what I do for a giveaway, go over to my channel, go over here. Make sure you guys subscribe, of course. But go to the community tab, and then you will see right over here there will be a poll. Oh, let's wait for that to load. Sorry about the internet, guys. All right, so there will be a poll in my in my community tab, and you can vote for Synapse X, Robux, Discord Nitro, or something else in the comments. So make sure you guys go ahead and do that. And it looks like we are going to be doing a Robux giveaway. Ooh, nice. But like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.